Hello everyone and welcome to today's session where we'll be talking about change detection in ArcGIS Pro. So this is part of the raster functions series where we simply look at the different raster functions in ArcGIS Pro. So the first thing you need to do is actually acquire the temporal multispectral imagery. In our case, I have I'm using Landsat 8 uh, and I have I'm using uh, the Landsat 8 image for Nyeri County in Kenya for the year 2017 and I'll be comparing it with the imagery for uh, Nyeri County in Kenya in 2019. And um, another thing you want to make sure is you want to make sure that the image is available uh, from the start to the end of the change period. So in our case, I'll be looking at 2017 in 2019 and therefore Landsat 8 image uh, imagery is available throughout the whole period. Uh, in your case maybe you want to look at uh, you want to do a change detection uh, from 30 years ago you may have to look at what images were there then and actually uh, use those all right and uh, at the same time you also have to make sure the images are from the same time of the year uh, for each year that you're covering and uh, they cover the same area of interest. Uh, for instance, I've, I've used a scene from uh, September or rather scenes from the period of September and uh, you can see they both are covering the Nyeri area. So if, if, I, if I look at the 2019 one, you can see uh, it overlays uh, perfectly with the 2017 uh, image. And therefore you need uh, to now have the band combination uh, that that you prefer in my case I've used the uh, band combination of natural color again as I've said I'll share the link below I've done a video on band combinations you can have a look at that video but natural color is basically RGB where I'm using red green and blue so there are different ways of uh, of course of quantifying uh, changes uh, and uh, using spectral indices that is right so there there are several methods of doing change detection uh, we have the direct image differencing the spectral index differencing image classification techniques and the choice just depends on the project requirements all right so in our case today we are going to be uh, using one of the spectral indices and when i say spectral indices I just mean uh, combinations of uh, surface reflectances at two or more wavelengths that indicate relative abundance of features that you're interested in. All right? So for instance, we have vegetation indices like now the uh, NDVI. So if we come to under the imagery tab here and we click on indices, you can see a couple of, uh, of indices uh, right there. So Basically, what you're going to be uh, using today is the NDVI. And uh, NDVI actually just helps. NDVI stands for Normalized Difference Vegetation Index. Uh, I talk about NDVI extensively in one of my other videos as well. I'll share that link below. So NDVI just basically monitors vegetation conditions and how vigorous uh, the, vegeta the vegetation is in an area. All right, and uh, it's just basically a measure of healthy uh, green vegetation. So what happens, uh, let's just click on, uh, on the NDVI right here. So first of all, you make sure you've selected the image you want to uh, do your NDVI on. So I've selected Nyeri 2017 and then come to indices and select um, NDVI. So you can see that what happens here is the NDVI algorithm actually just subtracts the red reflectance values from the near infrared band and divides it by the sum of the near infrared and red bands. So this happens because of the chlorophyll absorption in the red band and the high reflectivity of plant materials in the NIR band, all right? So the differential reflection in the red and um, Infrared bands now enables you to monitor the density and intensity of green vegetation uh, growth using now the 
spectral reflectivity of solar radiation. All right, so what happens is we come here and we select the near infrared band. So according to our image, my near infrared band is band four, all right? And uh, my red band is actually band one. Uh, I talk about this in my band combinations video. So you can actually have a look at that to see how I come up with these composite bands, all right? So once I have the near infrared and the red band declared i just come and say okay and then i get uh, my ndvi subset uh, right there so what happens is you find the result is negative one to one so the positive values indicate that there is a greater reflectance in the near infrared uh, all right as compared to now visible red while the larger ndvi values uh, the greater the density of the healthy vegetation so the low to zero values actually indicate very minimal vegetation values uh, so we can we can say close to zero and negative values actually cor correspond to impervious surfaces and uh, water all right for instance if there's a water body somewhere then you expect it to be uh, zero to negative one all right so that's uh, that's the interpretation of the negative one to one. So you can now come come here to the Nyeri uh, 2019, and uh, for this one you can actually use another uh, another route to uh, to get to our NDVI. So you can just come to raster functions here, click on raster functions, and then as it loads, uh, just remember uh, that. Uh, you know, you come to analysis over here and then click on NDVI. So here again, you want to uh, actually come here and select your raster image. So for instance, we've already done 2017. So let's come to 2019. So the visible band here they're talking about now the red band because it's in the visible range and then as for the infrared band uh, we've said it's four right so you can actually come and create a new layer and you can see it also uh, gives almost uh, uh, a similar output so that's our uh, ndvi layer out there all right and uh, what happens is sometimes when you've declared the bands uh, well, the indices just read directly uh, from the metadata of the image and check the band names. Uh, and then when they, when they find a match, they automatically apply the NDVI. So once you do your band combinations, maybe of the full, uh, all the bands uh, in a way that uh, you can actually declare them well, then sometimes uh, some of these processes are actually automatic, all right? So you, you realize that after running it, the, the data set is represented as a single band data set and uh, mostly representing vegetation in grayscale, all right? So what you want to do here is we want to choose a symbology that will enable us to interpret uh, the results in a better way. So let's just unselect this. Uh, we can actually unselect everything else and then come here to just click on our uh, click on on this to symbolize and then we can we can show names here so what I want to use is I want to use this um, green to red all right so what happens is I'm choosing this symbology because now the yellow represent uh, represents low vegetation and then the red represents the area where vegetation is actually regenerating heavily. And then the green values indicate no vegetation. So that's why I'm using uh, that's why I'm using this symbology. So we can come to our 2019 NDVI and, uh, and again choose the same uh, symbology, right? So here now you can you can actually uh, see some differences 
so let's actually come to appearance and uh, we can improve our we can improve some of these components so that uh, perhaps our our image is clearer in some cases you may you may not have to really so it's just a matter of playing with uh, playing with this numbers to get the the best uh, the best result right so you can actually now come to an area like down here in the corner so if you unselect this image right here you can see uh, these are these actually are passes of land where there is some farming going on so you can actually see uh, a big difference uh, right but a better way of actually looking at this is using the swipe tool right here so remember i clicked appearance and then uh, the appearance tab and then i came and clicked on swipe and then here you can now come in and see uh, some of these changes so remember i talked about uh, red uh, actually being actually representing an area where there is a, a high regeneration of vegetation so this you can observe this area you can see that previously uh, there was no vegetation but now you can see there's a lot of regeneration happening uh, look at another parcel over here so you can see there's also a lot going on look at these two which uh, right here uh, they have no vegetation but there is a lot of vegetation regenerating and so on so that's just one way uh, of, of change detection uh, that i feel like is the most uh, common and easiest to actually handle uh, ndvi so let me know in the comment section below any other ways that you're interested to to know and i can i can cover that uh, in the future all right so until next time uh, please make sure to click the like button, subscribe and share this video. Thank you.